Access to this low-lit corner of the Boston Public Library is limited, and with good reason. This is a department of rare books and manuscripts. Among the oldest and most valuable items here, the Baysam book. We just brought this from the vault. The first book written and printed in the US back in 1640. It's a translation of the Book of Psalm and represents a rebellion against England, the first step towards American independence. The original words are sometimes hard to read, but well-known Psalm 23 is still recognisable. Ye though in the valley of death shall I walk, none ill I'll fear. There are only 11 known copies of the Bay Psalm book in existence. This one is owned by the Old South Church in Boston. Its first congregation gathered in 1669. Founding father Benjamin Franklin was baptised here. Samuel Adams, an integral leader of the American Revolution, was a church member. It has been said about Old South Church in Boston that there's no other church so integral to this nation's quest for freedom and justice than this church. And that's why it has a second copy of the Bay Psalm book. The idea of selling one of them came up more than 20 years ago, followed by passionate debates about whether the book had any relevance to today's ministries. The congregation eventually voted 271 to 34 in favour of selling. It's a part of our past, but we have let go of difficult things in the past. And, you, know, you don't get to be 344 years old without making adjustments in the course of your history. The money will top up the church's endowment and go towards its community programs. So how much is the Baysan book worth? All will be revealed on Tuesday at Sotheby's in New York. The auction house says there's been intense interest in such a rare and historical item. Estimated price, 15 to 30 million dollars. Uh, the range tells you that it is an extremely valuable book. It will be, when it sells, the most expensive printed book in history. Mr Redden is certain it will stay in American hands. An old book with a new owner, someone with very deep pockets. Kath Turner, Al Jazeera, New York.